What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into De'Ara sends a message to Kui. Uh, Armand partner arrested for fraud. Corey shows he's with Carmen. His partner? What? <laughs> a previous video, I spoke on this whole situation with Kui and Ken going live and pretty much going off on everyone, including Diera, for being accused of copying Diera's style. Now, if you guys have not checked out that video, I will link it at the top here. But now Diera has responded. In 111 in the chat, 1111 in the chat. For those that don't know, those are angel numbers. Look them up directly to this live that Kui and Ken put out. She posted a photo on her Instagram with the caption that read, on your mind and your mood board. Then in the comment section, someone stated, I expire to be just like you. Diera responded with, I love honesty. So I saw some comments on my last video stating that Diera is an influencer, so why is she so bothered by influencing someone? Well, I think the problem is, is Diera isn't bothered by we allegedly being influenced by her. I think she's more bothered that Kui isn't admitting to being influenced. In Hello, why aren't we getting this? Not only that, though. Imitation is a form of flattery, but it's annoying. Drake said it best. It's like, okay, that's cute. You know what I'm saying? She want to talk like me. Okay, I uh, bet. You know what I'm saying? My nail patterns are dope. You know, it's cool. Everybody take a nail pattern every once in a while. Oh, but damn, you like my cups. Oh, shit. You also <laughs> like where I live. Um, You also like all these other things. Honey, can I have my personality back? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, And that's what it is. Imitation is a form of flattery, but it is annoying. Okay. All right. Also, it's very annoying when a person don't say, like, you see how Deira just put JT on her, um, well, they're teaming up doing this, this uh, deal. Is it, I was about to say, what's today, the 17th? I'm ready to order some glasses. But uh, it's a, um, what you call it? A collaboration for Kui and I can't, I don't want to say they look alike. I ain't trying to get cussed out by neither one of them, but they favor each other. Just like JT and Diara favor each other. That could have been something. They could have worked together on something. This is ridiculous. You don't want to, you know, um, say that you're inspired by her, but you'd rather say you're inspired by Kim Kardashian. You got it. Whatever. Instead, she's just stating that this everybody's inspired by someone. Hello. This is her own style, which it very much so could be. But you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. Do you guys think that Kui is inspired by Diera? And if so, do you feel like Diera has the right to be upset that Kui is not admitting to it? I think, I think that she has the right to be annoyed. Upset? No. But the right to be annoyed, because it's annoying. Every time I turn around, you got my nail pattern. Every time I turn around, you got... Now, it was to the point where the fans was noticing it, right? So then the fans bring the attention to De'Ara. Then De'Ara looked, and it's like, well, damn, bitch. <laughs> you all kind of copying me. And then Kui come out, and she like, I ain't copying nobody. This is me. This is all me. <laughs> and it's like, no, it's not, honey. It's not. That would be a lie. So leave your comments down below. But let's move on to this next topic with Armand's best friend, Lotto. Now, Lotto appears to have gotten himself in some trouble. A news article reads, man accused of faking car theft cashing insurance check article states a man was arrested for allegedly filing a false car theft report and cashing the insurance check larry Damn. johnson 34 is charged with theft of property that nigga named larry <laughs> 60 to 250 thousand dollars police say johnson reported his 2019 dodge challenger hellcat stolen in january of 2023 johnson filed the police report with progressive insurance and was issued a check for ninety one thousand dollars so he like yo 
my car got stolen and they just was like, oh, I bet. Let me just slide you 90000 I think it's crazy in the first place. But, um, okay, let me. Let's... According to the affidavit, Johnson claimed to use the 30000 to purchase a 2021 Dodge Challenger Hellcat in October of 2023 from a man in Texas. In November of 2023, Johnson reported his 2021 Dodge Challenger Hellcat stolen to the Memphis International Airport Police. You did it again? The affidavit states days later, Arkansas police responded to a call and found the 2021 Dodge Challenger Hellcat during the investigation. They discovered that the VIN was false. Police oh no. He might have gave him the wrong VIN number, but how you just give the wrong VIN number. But not only that, if it was the wrong VIN, why didn't the police fully check out the wrong VIN? I have a lot of questions about this whole little debacle. And um, I did see that he responded back on So Real T, because y'all know So Real T, T Room Voice for the People. I He's see I see that he responded back on there and basically said it was a misunderstanding. If the 1212 in the chat, look it up. It's an angel number. If it was a misunderstanding and they got the wrong VIN or he typed in the wrong VIN, like he could have even told them the wrong VIN or they typed in the wrong VIN. Ain't no way y'all going to arrest me for y'all typing in the wrong VIN, but that's number one. Number two, this shit happened twice. It's kind of crazy. Multiple VINs, but they say the real VIN belonged to the 2019 Dodge Challenger Hellcat that was reported stolen by Johnson. Oh, no. <laughs> what? So he used the same VIN twice? That might not be an accident. I was, I'm, I ain't gonna lie. When I seen it, I'm trying to figure out. How the hell he get caught? <laughs> like, cause listen, I'm I'm upside down in a car right now, ten thousand. Got it during COVID. <sighs> so I'm over here with an upside down car, and I'm not even gonna disclose any names. But the lady at the car place was like, when I tried to trade it in to get another car, she said, "Just go, just get rid of the car. <laughs> get rid of the car, okay?" I'm like, I ain't got time for that shit. Like I am not. About to be on the news for shit like this. Man, that would be so embarrassing because it ain't that deep. It is that deep. I ain't going to lie, especially when you upside down in a car. However, it is what it is. That's me not being knowledgeable of cars at the time. Now I am. I won't make that decision again, but, bro. Johnson was released from jail after posting a $4,000 bond. So now this was Lotto's response to all of this. Hey man. Oh, he went on a story too. Believe none of what you damn sevens. Do you see these big stupid dumb dookie bitches? Huh? Sevens. Hey, what I was gonna say though? Believe how did saying go? Believe none of what you hear and half of what you see. That's what they say. So I'm telling you, believe. None of that shit the news talking about. Stupid ass nigga. We got bud for them dick. Dumb ass. Y'all niggas really think I'm out here doing shit like that? I hope the fuck not. <laughs> they don't want to see no young nigga with shit. The story is misconstrued. And it's an open case. And I'm not talking about shit with you niggas. Believe what you want to believe. Stupid ass nigga. So now Corey. Listen. If the police mixed up the numbers. If it's a misunderstanding or whatever the fuck. I would sue they ass. Oh God! If that were to be the case, but um, he said when that case get dismissed, he need everybody to come back and say, uh, they apologize. So I don't know if he did it or not, cause I ain't gotta come back and apologize for shit. I don't know if it's true or not. I will say it is a lot of um higher powers trying to um play these black men, okay? But sometimes they play their damn self. I don't know how in the hell he used the same van twice and that same situation happened twice. But uh, if it's cap, it's cap. Shit, he ain't doing next. He has been throwing 
hints here and there that he this is nigga. back with Carmen. Now, we didn't know for sure, but as of yesterday, Corey posted, then quickly deleted a video of himself and Carmen. Look at her. Now, we know that this is current because Carmen just recently cut her hair. <laughs> then Corey was Call also on live with Zoe, and he stated, I know how to go viral. He quickly turned the camera and tried to show that he was with Carmen. No, he's a troll. So what he do, he he knows how to go viral. That's his thing. He goes viral. I gotta go viral. Perk, I gotta go viral. Perk I gotta go. go viral too. I know how to go viral with anybody. And, oh, I know you do, but no. So What's what up, y'all? Got a family to feed. Like a young rapper. And, well, I don't want to tell his shit, but anyway, Perk is in his twenties, honey. <laughs> okay, somebody said he's fourteen. Yeah, he's fourteen, girl. You must not know Perk. Perk been in there for a long time. He's definitely not 14. Um, so you got laptops? Okay. So that's what you was trying to show that you really got your laptop? Yeah, bro. I'm still hitting my kids. I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? If you dip my sister out. Sorry. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Carmen stated on Twitter, lately the small things that's supposed to bring a moment of happiness seems to only last a couple of minutes. Now Girl, at this point, happy. I don't know if Carmen really still wants to be with Corey, but just doesn't want to let her supporters down or if she's just around because of the boys. But you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. Now let's move on to this next topic with Maya. I'm glad he able to see his son. And Amar. Now, there's been a lot of them, off and on between the two. They break up, then they get back together. Well, Maya went live on TikTok because she's fed up after this recent video that Amar just posted. And he made a few comments that Maya is stating is absolutely false. Now, this is what Maya had to say on that live. As always, I want to know your opinions on everything down in the comment section below. About it because. When I went to, when I was on Instagram live yesterday and somebody had said that he made a comment or something, I'm like, what are they talking about? Can't be him. So I went to his video, my stuff, I'm not afraid to say it. I went to his video, my stuff, and I seen the comment that he made and I'm like, like really? But you know what? I give it, I give it to them and I just kind of blame it on myself because I'm not confrontational and I'm not. Like, I'm not really outspoken, so like, when I get ready to say what I wanna say, I'm always pointing out as the bad person because I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna say what you wanna hear. I'm gonna say what you need to hear. So I feel like I always get pointed out as the bad person and stuff. And for him, like, they, he, he portrays a good image. He'll make you, he'll make it seem like he's the victim or like, he's not the reason why everything, like our relationship is not in a position how i'm trying to say this y'all like he the reason why our relationship is in this position now not even a relationship because it's done with it's over but yeah like i mean and then everybody have a bigger fan base than me so it's just like i don't even be trying to get into it because I, I don't like being on t pages i try to i try to be very silent as possible because this is real life stuff this is not just for no internet this is just not for views and publicity publicity and stuff like that like it's not none of that it's like this is real life this is like y'all never know what people are going through behind those cameras and stuff so i don't know but like y'all said i'm gonna use this as motivation a lesson learned my guard is forever up. Nobody will ever, I'm, I'm glad I experienced this because nobody will ever get the chance to do me like this ever again. Like, and now I'm just focused on me, like. Um, there's a lot going on in that background, so I probably will not be able to finish this video. However, um, you know, I hope that she gets whatever she needs out of this situation. Um, these Watching these relationships, um, you know, as they're so young and, like, kind of keep making the same mistakes, you know, to the ones that's 30 and up. 
we all did the same shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, they think we walking with canes and shit. <laughs> but uh, we all did the same shit. And that's the point I, I am um, with watching what's going on now. I have no excuse for royalty and CJ. I, we are over 30. What are we talking about right now? <laughs> but um, to the 20-year-olds, like, this is kind of like going to happen. And they're probably like going to be back together in a month or so. Um, maybe next week, probably together right now. And, you know, it happens. And I don't know what comment he said, though. I have no idea. That's what I really want to see what he said um, that had her so upset. I don't want to date anybody. You going to date somebody. For I don't want to date week. anybody. I don't want to commute with communicate with anybody. I don't want to be back in another relationship. I don't want to do none of that. I just want to find myself again, love on oh, myself, yeah, yeah, yeah. figure out what I want to do and how I want to do it. Yeah. Like, it's my turn now. Like, it's all about Maya. Period. As it should be. Omar could tell me something and be doing a whole nother thing. And me really loving him and thinking that, okay, since maybe since he done did this, and I found out. Everybody gets so mad when I, been, when I say uh, that these boys going to cheat. Um, but it's the truth, y'all. Like, you know, I, I'm not red pill at all, but some of the stuff that they talk about is just absolutely correct. Men, 1222 in the chat, look the number up. Men who have money and power, they cheat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... I wouldn't expect anything different. That's why I always tell y'all to get a little boyfriend on the side. Don't get caught. But get your little boyfriend on the side. And granted, I know, I don't know because I'm in a relationship, but I, I, I'm hearing it's watered down out here in the, in the single streets. And I would not want to be in them at all at this very moment. Um, but since you're in them, you know, I, I feel like it is absolutely important for you to find yourself first because that's that's she's right. Find yourself first. In between the partying and being outside hookah and liquor, because we ain't have hookah. We ain't had these. Not that easy to get to, but I don't know. I just feel like, you know, they should be focusing on themselves and, Working out, doing doing your vices, making some money, having some fun. Maybe it might be some change, you know. Maybe it's something that will change or whatever. Nothing changed, and now I know that. Like now, I'm to a point where nothing will never change. But I was just too comfortable. I was comfortable, you know. When you really love somebody, it be like that. So, but I don't know. Yeah, like you start believing that I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, hopefully, she does take the time to find herself and you know, getting her do her thing. You know, let me know what y'all think and love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.